All right, so our goals are to go to the Northern Crossing to look for Earthshaker reinforcements, and to go to the Tripnital uh, Wilderness, which I believe is where the... That's where the big officer was someone was trying to capture, right? Inter yeah, we interrogated for, uh, for that exact purpose, to track that person down. Do. We'll see how it goes. Seems like I should go to Tripnital first, because it's on the way. We'll see. This will be interesting. It'll take you six hours. Ambush, 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 ambush? Ambush. No ambush. <laughs> We've only had one so far, huh? I kind of thought there might be random events like in uh, Dragon Age Origins when you're walking around the map and you just fight people in a weird encapsulated spot, but so far they've been showing up... Uh, We've only had one, I think, so far, and it was that scripted event with encountering a... Encountering the uh, Waterbender. That's not what they're called, but it's what I... It's the first name that comes to mind for me. <laughs> so party's already level 3 and 4. Fake Limp. His name is Fake Limp. How do you get that name, sir? Are we gonna find out? Reinforcements, finally. Come this way, we need to... The chorus warrior pumps his tattooed arm in salute. Midway through the gesture, a look of confusion come, comes dawns across his painted face. <laughs> oh, the typos. How are there this many typos? I'm actually starting to get weirded out by how many there are. A look of confusion dawns across his painted face. Sister Verse, what did I do to deserve such a helping hand? A chuckle escapes the man before he shudders, placing a hand over his mouth, at once alert of the need to remain quiet. His voice drops to a harsh whisper. The fifth eye has a sense of humor sending you. Verse returns a cold glare, but says nothing. You two know each other? This one used to run with my pack until he left for Deathnell's gang. Motherless swine didn't even have the guts to fight me for the rights to leave. He just packed up and left with his coward's tail between his fat legs. And a wise move at that. How many have you lost under your command so far? He holds up a hand, stifling a smile. I misspoke. I'm sure you only got most of them killed. Can't rule out death by your own incompetence. By their own incompetence. Seems ne Death Nell didn't take my advice to have you gelded to curb your outbursts. Verse draws a b her blade in a fluid motion. Ah, well. 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 Yeah. I think I would... I think I would go against uh, Fake Limp in this case, because he is just act actively antagonizing the situation. So I'm going to grab Limp by the neck. Apologize. Now. With a swift, confident stride, you advance on Fake Limp and grip his neck before he can step away. His stance wobbled as you clench down on his throat, and he presses his arms against you, desperate to push away. At last, he tears himself away from your grip, gra uh, gasping for air and clutching at his throat. I'm sorry. Mistress Verse, I did not... I did not mean any disrespect. Yeah, you did. <laughs> of course you did. Of course you did. And I couldn't care less. Just know this. You're not good enough to do it to my face. He sniffs. Sh she sniffs and glares at him. Clean herself up. Apologies. I have been in the field for a few weeks answering to no one. I've forgotten my place. Their camp is just yonder, he points to the northeast, and we've kept an eye on them for the last couple of days. Some of them left a few hours ago, looking for food, maybe out in patrol, but they haven't returned yet. Might be wise to, stri to strike now while they're divided. How'd you find this place? Happy accident of sorts. He points east towards the mountains. We were, we were up in the mountains with orders to keep the Oathbreakers in, and keep any would-be allies out of the valley. Strangest thing, uh, strangest thing happens. Tremor hit the pass, and the tremors lasted a bit, so I figured they were magical, but they weren't, there weren't no sign of Earthshakers or anybody. That was Kairos' magic sealing the valley. Oh yeah? That'd explain it. We thought for a second Karen survived death and was back for a vengeance. Figured we didn't need to watch the pass no longer. We headed down slope, back to camp. He points with his eye uh, to the north. 
New fish in the gangs got good eyes, and she spotted the campfires from up north. He, she, we was curious, swung this way, and that's pretty much how we got here. What's your plan now? I lost two of my gang in the mountains, and we've been on half rations for days, so until we get a much larger contingent, we're not likely to win any fight we start. Now that you're here, I figure my gang will hold back and keep an eye out for trouble. Maybe swoop in if things get messy. I can handle this. No need to push your, your warriors past their limits. Smiling broadly, he claps his hands in approval. Kairos would applaud your bravery. My gang and I will lurk nearby. When you've made your move, we'll descend and help with, uh, with capturing Florian. Don't worry, I'll let the others know you did the heavy lifting. I'll, I'll cheat at battle, but not with my reputation. Oh yeah? Alright, so we need to look, look for the rebel captain. Look at this nice zoomed in map, isn't that handy? Weird how I can do that. <laughs> Weird how I can minimize this while it's in maximize mode. That seems rather pointless. Because <laughs> the whole point of pressing M... Oh, neat. I can make I can keep it completely invisible like this and then I can do this and I can change tabs to check it in the moment and then make it go away again so it just doesn't take up any screen space that's kind of neat that is kind of neat and I can probably click on here and be like well I don't think I can I don't think I can double click though to like send someone somewhere specific toggle exits yeah these are just views It'd be kind of cool if I could just, like, make this completely invisible, then bring it up, and then, like, click here, like, send everyone there. But it just zooms the map in. Granted, I can zoom the map in there and then go, ha-ha. But, you gotta correlate the two. That's fine. That's fine. I'll probably not do that, though. Having it in the corner is useful. Okay. Let's have ourselves a look around. Some slow exploration. Nope, more exits. It's funny how they have to place a bunch of individual exit locations when ultimately it just comes down to you just walking away. <laughs> but uh, those specific exit locations are the proper ones that really work. Sun Soldier. Oh, and Palo Florian. They're listed as a uh, non hostile. There's Fake Limp. Oh, hello. Don't want to skip that. Did we not simply break it? Why did we not skip, simply break this? Fucking practice, man. Get over it. Give you a revive thing. Just sort of distribute those around. Target versus endurance weakened for 30 seconds. Neat. Let's give her the toxins. Maybe she'll get some practice with those. I haven't used a single one yet, but you know, you never know. I should just take those consumables and just be like, ah, it's next, next, next major fight. Just use it, <laughs> and just see how it turns out. Because I, uh, I'm definitely one of those people that zenith. The game Zenith made fun of for uh, the fact that nobody uses the. How'd you take a look at that? Nobody uses the items that you get in these games. I'm absolutely one of those people. Bronze axe, one-handed. Let's compare. More accuracy. Ooh, armor penetration. A little less DPS. A little less recovery. I think the armor penetration would be worth it. We've since we learned how effective armor penetration is. That's literally your enemy having three less armor. Or at least effectively. Not literally, actually. That's not what the word literally means. That is not literally the definition of literally. I'm sorry, I'm from California. No, not you yet. We can probably get to you safely. A staff of atrophy. Uh, plus two DPS. Uh, can he still use his quill attacks if he's not holding a quill? That's the question, because it's a thrown weapon, right? I could test it for one fight, but it does more DPS, better recovery, better range. No armor penetration, though. Although damage is corrosion based, so it might not even work against ar it might not even count for armor in the first place. I'll give it a go. Such nice items just sitting around waiting for me. Put that in the alternate set, which we'll switch to. It's a lot of weapon sets, by the way. What's the other one I have? Staff of Boreal Frost. Oh. It appears to be the same weapon as the Boreal Frost staff, except I, uh, Atrophy and Boreal Frost seem to have identical stats, just different elements. 
So that's based on Control Frost and Magical Staff. This is based on Control Atrophy and Magical Staff. But of course, he specializes in uh, Control Life and Control Vigor. So does that mean that it, it uh, is not going to be particularly useful? Could give it a test, but yeah, without those elements, he doesn't have the... He's not particularly great with those elements. Uh, we'll give it a shot. Let's learn things. There's another barricaded spot here. Here's the enemy soldiers. So they are hostile, unlike all the other guys down there. Combat has apparently begun. Okay. So they have... Two honor guards. No, sun soldier and honor guard. So that's the tanky guy. Let's see here. Clash of iron. We'll start with clash of iron on you guys. That might be a bad idea, actually. We'll cancel that. Just issue a normal action. Because uh, th they might move before I can start it. I mean, isn't iron tolling, though, target based? Yeah. Follow up with striking iron after that. And then continue to attack that target. We can start focusing on the other character that's probably going to be using throwing attacks. Start off with burning iron. And then an, a engage in melee. I'm going to have you use Titan's Touch on the tank. And a heart shot on the secondary target. Followed by continued attacks. We're going to use Titan's Touch on our other friend here. And we'll see about Quill Flurry. Oh, it says Valid Weapon's Thrown Weapon, so it might not work. Unless he switches to it. Spectral Blur. Definitely could come in handy on either of them, really. Let's help out our party with those. Maybe just cast it on everyone one by one, actually. Then engage in attacks after that. I think that's more or less a good start. Let's see how this plays out. And so the noise begins. Alright. So we clearly have a lead. They're both injured. Throws are happening now. We can do Blood Soak Stone now since we're both together here. Actually, no, he's near death. Uh, just attack, just attack normally. How do I cancel this action? I don't think I can actually. That is a good question. I don't have the answer for. How do I cancel Blood Soak Stone after I, I've started it? Nah, we'll let it. We'll just let it happen. I wanted to cancel it because, uh, yeah, they're not, they're not worth it. Now who are they going to hit it with? <laughs> who are they hitting now? Hey you, attack this person. Run around? There we go, that cancelled the action. Got a little stuck there. Hey, negligible damage taken by anyone in the party. Those buffs are probably pretty worth it. Big 45 second bonus to grazing and dodging and stuff. Neat. Trap detected. I know just the thing for that. Ah! And that's when I learned that the hitbox is not where I think it is, and I almost died. Well, crap. <laughs> I, was, I figured I'll walk near the trap, then start disarming it. I should have just clicked on it immediately, obviously. But I was being cautious in case somebody... In case we walk into the range of someone, you know what I mean? There could have been somebody around here, so I was taking it slow. Which is also stupid, because I have a set to auto-pause and cancel pathing if I didn't see anyone. So, in, basically, in hindsight, literally everything I did was stupid. <laughs> so now that's out of the way and established, we can move on with our lives. We've established that I do stupid things in video games. Hello, enemy soldier. Get him! <laughs> oh, yep, that's a whole crew. But combat hasn't actually started yet. Let's see here. Set up the basics, so Titan's Touch on Tank. You do... Titan's Touch on... Verse. Spectral Blur on Tank. Spectral Blur on... Verse. Then continue to attack. 
So Outrunner, Sun Soldier, Honor Guard. We can take out the Outrunner fast if we target him directly. Let's see. You're going to do Iron Tolling on Honor Guard to get his attention. And then Striking Iron. We're going to go after the Outrunner to take him out quickly, I think. Let's see the start. I command. Ah. And that's when I realized that I have it set up so that when combat starts, everyone's actions are reset, apparently. Frustrating. I need to change that setting, then. Because <laughs> obviously if I see somebody and I set up the, my ambushes, I don't want it to cancel what I'm doing at that point. Alright. Let's just make a mess. So, Titan's Touch. Heart Strike. Burning Iron. Titan's Touch. Spectral Blur. Spectral Blur. Spectral Blur. Oh wait, it has a cooldown of 24 seconds, so I can only do it on one, really. That's my mistake. Titan's Touch. Spectral Blur on the tank. Look at them teleporting around, making a mess of things. <laughs> I like how he's spinning in circles trying to deal with that character. Alright, we, we have a trap over there, so we'll try to not walk over there for the moment. If we can. Uh, where's this guy? Outrunner. Let's try to trip him, because he's running around like a crazy person right now. But we can do Blood Soak Stone to take him out. There we go. That makes him in a bad spot. Now he's near death. Good. Uh, let's just go for a jab. There we go. Everyone's pretty healthy. Hey! Barrack leveled up. Neato. Uh, let's go to the Sun Soldier next with its projectiles. At the moment, no one really needs a heal, do they? Not really, no. Let's see if Quill Flurry works, like how that reacts. I'm gonna do that right now. I think he just did it, didn't he? Uh, Barrack. Lantry activates Quill. Lantry hits. But right now, Lantry is using... Oh, he just switches over. Did he auto-switch, or did I not successfully switch him to the staff when I meant to? Or maybe he switched at some point in the past. Eh, if he equips everything, and he can switch to whatever he needs in the moment, I think. The AI probably actually switches weapons on its own. You'll be going down in a moment. Let's see. They're badly injured, near death. Yep, there it goes. Everyone get that guy. They're gonna be in a bad spot in a moment here. Would you look at how healthy everyone is right now? Isn't that nice? We've had worse. All right, everyone, get away. Right, the formation makes problems there a little bit. All right, we'll subterfuge this. I did not try to make a rogue, <laughs> but I seem to have accidentally made someone that's an, that's a rogue, or at least enough that they can do all this low-level, uh, roguish behavior stuff. Got a shield. How's that compared to yours? Eleven parry, three endurance, and minus eight dodge, more less recovery. I think I'll treat parry and dodge as equal, stat-wise. I don't, because I don't know how to do the math here, but it seems like they'd be roughly equivalent in stats because they do similar, they do similar things. So I think uh, if I have more to parry and endurance than dodge, it's probably worth using. Perhaps, Gradrian Guard Heavy Bronze Helmet, half an armor, some cro crushed crowed armor. But significantly reduced accuracy is a bummer. As it compared to you, yeah, I don't know if the if the half an armor point's worth it. Let's uh, stash this for now. Let's head over and put your new shield on. Yeah, I think I want the Sun Soldier shield on. Although I do feel weird about using enemy equipment on my characters, but I guess I've gotten past that already. Alright, good to go. Everyone's healthy, uh, Barrack leveled up. There you go. 
Let's see. Could go higher into Might, which affects Endurance Defense. Uh, I don't think we're going to get a lot of dodge out of you, probably. But, uh, bonus health doesn't hurt either. See, he's at 156, 163. Make him pretty tough. Let's put a point to Might this time. Punisher and Sentinel. So are the blade increased his damage? We can we have a chance to attack people as they engage you. That'd be pretty tough because he's the one that constantly uh, draws people to engage them. So that'd be neat. Let's see. Fierce demeanor. Barrack becomes an intimidating force in the battlefield. Enemies near Barrack have the result to, to reduced is probably effective. Boost of movement speed at the beginning of battle is neat. He'll attack twice with his normal strikes for a short time when he uses cl uh, Clash of Iron. Let's see, Clash of Iron is the Mocking Blow. Double attack is pretty good, actually. Let's get that passive. He There's a I want most of the things I can get as Barrack here. <laughs> they basically all sound great, so I guess I'll be having some enthusiastic level, level ups for a while. Let's see. Oh, everyone get back. We made a mistake. You see what I see? There we go. My trap skill's been aw awfully convenient so far. I wouldn't really expect that kind of capability. I definitely built him more... I, I built him with the intention of being a caster thrower. And I've, bec and I've been doing a lot of tra trap disarming. I think my dialogue options have partially been to blame for... Leading to that being easier. So this is the other side of the barricade. Thought I'd check by. If nothing else, I can disarm traps for more trap experience. Yay! <laughs> really does feel like everything you do in this game grows your character one way or another. Often in unintentional ways. Alright, are we going to have a chat? You're, appar you're apparently friendly characters. The Overlord's peons have arrived. Blades up. Falks in hand, and uh, ready for battle, the Vendrian guard Captain Bellows orders to the warriors in his camp. Dressed in tarnished bronze and sporting countless scars across his arms, Palo Florian towers over his peers. And we want him. If you value your life, drop everything and flee. Or stand and fight. I'm happy with that option, too. It just seems unsporting for me to suggest it. Uh, I can say surrender now. I can protect, protect the lives of your warriors, or I just left the nicest blue flag at, at the camp. Uh, but I'd like to talk all the same. Yeah, that's decent. <laughs> the sarcasm's amusing, but yeah, that's a decent approach. I left my nicest blue flag back at camp, but I'd like to talk all the same. You want to talk? Florian looks in either direction of, at his soldiers, uh, gauging their reactions. Fine, speak your mind. Try anything funny, and I'll run my Falks clear up through uh, your backside until you taste bronze. That's uh, not not a good approach. Let's see. So I can lie and say that Graven Ash sent me to inquire about the disfavor taken captive during the uprising. I can say the Scarlet Chorus want you, uh, want you, just you. The rest of your warriors are incidental. They can walk away and nobody will notice. So I basically can say that he can come here to spare his soldiers. But there's only like two of them, because I killed all the other ones on the way here. <laughs> Which is awkward. Uh, I can ask what he's doing out here. There's no lore that'll work here. Let's see. Let's try the subterfuge approach. He did. Quiet down, oaf. Them? He regards you with a puzzled look. Captain Tarkus would know more. I've been in the field for quite some time. He lifts an eyebrow, sizing you up. I'm sure you know we don't kill prisoners, but I can't give you a better answer than that. That's all we have, then. There's prisoners, but we don't, we don't have access to them, and we'll, he won't tell us more about them. The Scarlet Chorus want you. Just you. The rest of your warriors are incidental. They can walk away, and nobody will notice. You better have a damn good reasons for spilling our plan. 
You speak very freely of our plans, don't you? They're not happy about that at all, huh? I have little love for the Scarlet Course, but even I wouldn't divulge their secrets to the enemy. Curious, almost flattered. Florian nods slowly, pondering your comment as he studies you, you head to toe. Why tell me this? What angle are you playing? Let's see. The subterfuge approach here is when the Archons are unhappy, I am amused. I want all of you to flee today, so you're alive to trouble them tomorrow. Whoa. How's that for a strange approach? Let's see. Try your weapon. I want you to know what that sound is when reinforcements arrive. <laughs> Let's see. The chorus is technically an ally, nothing more. My only angle is to minimize bloodshed. Insufficient reputation. Enough of your lies. If the Scarlet Chorus wants us, I say let them try. Welp. <laughs> now. The giant man whistles a shrill, sustained note that pierces your ear and echoes off the foothills of the east. In rehearsed unison, the uh, the warriors and his crew follow along, surrounding their, their signal for all in the area to hear. Or sounding their signal, sorry. Surrounding their signal. I only see three guys right now, or more of them going to come charging in, because I took out, like, everyone. I don't know if this is going to work out for him. I guess we'll have to see whether or not he can be uh, wounded or not. We'll have to see if he can be taken down non-permanently. So, iron tolling. Followed by striking iron. So these are a sun soldier and a sun soldier. So straightforward enough. Start with a ranged attack. And engage. You can follow suit. First we'll do Titan's touch on this guy. Then a heart, heart seeker, sorry, heart shot. Heart seeker is a different game altogether. And uh, at that point, just continue attacking. What's he opening with? He's doubling with Titan's Touch. Already activated. Let's make sure that this person, let's make this person evasive because they're more likely to be attacked when they're out there. I'm gonna go Quill Flurry on that target. Let us take them together. Let's see how this turns out. Right, I didn't actually tell you to attack the character yet, did I? Ah! There's the extra characters I was worried about. So they just summon, basically. That's not ideal. Barely injured, barely injured. We may need to focus on these guys for a bit. So he's, 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 he's currently doing the other touch. Is he doing Titan's touch or not? No, he already did it. All right, target this guy. May need to heal myself soon. Maybe use Spectral Blur myself, actually. If everyone's gonna be targeting him, let's make it harder. Oops. Screen move just now. Lantry's low on health already. Let's go for restoring touch on self. You need to focus on the Outrider. I keep making the mistake of uh, telling them to use a skill, but then not telling them to actually change to that target for attacking. That Lantry's out already. Yeah, I left that back flank open. I was not expecting necessarily for them to come from directly behind us. Well, that's a bad start, admittedly. Who has the revive potions on them? Lesser healing, Scarlet. You might have a revive potion on you. No? Did, did I give them all to you? Are they all, are they on my tank right now? Healing, Mashberry. Are they all on... Did I, did I give them all to Lantry? Potion of Revival. Can I have you use it on him? How does one use a Potion of Revival in combat? Uh...
trying to figure out how to access that thing from here. Quick items doesn't show up as potion of revival. How do I use a potion in combat? So right clicking makes this window, window pop up. Left clicking and dragging it doesn't work. Do I drag it to self? Uh, oh, I have to put it in quick items. Shit. <laughs> well, that's not the intention. Still though, even if it's not in quick items, can't I still use it? I guess not. Well, that's not good. I thought that worked that way. <laughs> I thought that was how that worked. Uh, now we're just swarming in enemies. I guess we'll have to deal with that. Thankfully, this guy's hard to kill. Let's try to take out the additional target, so let's wipe this guy out while everyone's dealing with this. Hopefully our tank can make good use of his armor <laughs> for a while. <laughs> Alright. That means that, uh... No, you can use Scarlet... You can use Scarlet Poison. Let's use that. Let's see. So... On a weapon for crit. Do I just click it to use it? I do just click it to use it. She's already ready to use it. Cool. Uh, we'll take out Palo next. So you guys target him. Could do Burning Iron. We have time to do... We can activate Titan's Touch, so I will. Followed by Thrust. No, actually, uh, Spectral Blur, too. That'll help. And then we'll attack. Did I hold shift incorrectly? Who are you attacking right now? Did your AI just override my actions when I just told you what to do? Okay, he's actually taking hits now. Let's do Spectral Blur on Tank. That'll, that'll help him last longer. So there's Spectral Blur. Uh, so right now you're lacking Titan's Touch. You have Scarlet Poison, but not Titan's Touch. So we'll activate that on you next. Followed by Heart Shot. No, now he's just doing a Heart Shot. He didn't activate... I thought holding Shift was supposed to queue up actions. Titan's Touch. Now Heart Shot. I think we'll be fine. I just screwed up and got Lantry down to way too early. Hidden object. Oh, the crate. Well, that's this is not the time for that. <laughs> Let's focus on the text. You're all alone, buddy. You don't want to run? It definitely could have gone cleaner. Uh, I need to equip quick slot items. I thought you, I, I thought you could use items from your inventory. Oh, that uh, that often is the case. Quick slot usually just means it's easier. Oh, we're still in combat. There we go, now we're out of combat. Poor dude. Edict of Execution, plus one Oh, that's just the part about how the, the time limit's happening still. Let's actually equip the, po the, the stuff I've given people. Staggering Burn, what's this over here? Rot Spear, yeah, you can use that, that's fine. Just equip what we have, or otherwise it's being wasted. What are you? Water, one resolve for a while. Probably not using that during combat, that'd be a little odd. Uh, elemental barrier, yep. We want those equipped. Potion of protection. Mash berry. Movement speed, quickness, dodge. Immunity uh, to engagement, that's better for a more rogue type character. Like you. There we go. Uh, corrode damage eventually at <laughs> such a delay, though. It's a st strange item a bit. Alright. Now, quick items have been revised. Everyone's alive. We're doing okay-ish. How many wounds did I get from that? Two wounds. Not too bad. He's just, he's just in the process of, of still healing right now. Okay. So my understanding is using the heal is useless because it only it doesn't help with wounds, it only helps outside of combat. I mean it only helps during combat, like your your current health. Fatiguing toxin. 
Sigil of Frostfire. Put you over there. Get a toxin. Alright. Found a few useful items. Is he dead now? Did we completely fail? Broken armor. Elemental barrier. So I think he's just dead at the moment. Unfortunately. Let's see. You need to kill them all and cleanse the area of all rebel resistance. Oh. Now, is the area now filled with enemies? On it. That's a new problem. Insects flutter around and land on a few pieces of rotten vegetables interspersed among the produce. So that may be the end amount of that. I keep holding shift on accident <laughs> instead of tab. Uh, studded iron gorget. Ten parry. Can I, can I give that to you, Mr. Tank? Heart of Battle. It's a one-handed fine weapon. Gives you frenzy. This dagger was shaped by hands eager to wield it, and some of that intentionally seems to have blood into the crafting. Minus 10% recovery time while having wounds. That sounds like a Scarlet Fury weapon if I've ever heard of one. Let's compare. Uh, Twisted Iron Sword. It has more DPS, more accuracy, more reco recovery, but less armor penetration. The fact that there's no pop-up means it must be identical to the Bronze Dagger. Let's see. 8 to 10, 15 accuracy. Yep. So it's got to be better than the Iron, the Bronze Dagger, though, because it has uh, Frenzy. Which I believe this does not. Yeah. So, boop. I can think I can just put you away, right? Yeah. In the stash with you. Yeah, now that, so now they have frenzy on top of having an armor penetration weapon. That's handy. I think either I've either either I'm leveling up a bit or this was a weaker encounter or all that equipping of ever giving everyone equipment really paid off because that fight definitely went easier than a previous one has. Got them in my sights. Ooh. Apparently she likes the new weapon. Sorry, I can't. But yeah, that uh We've encountered similar fights in the past that did not go as smoothly as that one, so I think I did alright. I think our characters have gotten more powerful. So either he's dead permanently, and we failed to acquire him, or maybe that's, uh... Let's just send you in first. Hey, buddy old pal. Or, uh, maybe I just had to clear them out to progress, because we sure wiped out the other character, and they then went on to be, uh... Someone we could recruit anyway. Did it say dead? I don't think I can highlight him right now. I'm not sure if he counts as being fully dead or not. Iron tolling. Let's get you in there. You should cast Titan's Touch. Well, charging in would be dangerous right now. Let's put Titan's Touch on this guy, followed by Spectral Blur on him. You can put Spectral Blur on her. Sorry about that. There we go. So that queuing up of actions worked. Let's back up a little bit with Love Bridge and attack from here. No, not that one. We'll do the bleed. I uh, just have you target this character. You too. Oh wait, right. You're casting a. You're casting the evasion skill. We should try that again. Here it comes. And now attack. There we go. The dodge really does seem to help. Now comes the rapid fire. Oh, Verse is already low on health. The archers being a, pe a problem here. Go for a restoring touch right now. Do you have a special evasive skill? You're already in your evasive stance, right? No, you're not. You changed. Let's switch to three whispers. Does she already have her evasion cast on her? Did I cast it on you or did I double cast on the tank on accident? Let's see. I'll see if I can draw attention by attacking. But yeah, the uh, uh, verse could be in trouble here. They started going down fast. Did they get? Did they take a crit? Twenty-one damage is not. That's that's a decent amount. Yeah. Oh, piercing shot hits verse for twenty-eight. So she took. She very rapidly took like fifty plus damage. That's rough. Let's see about drawing their attention. Oh. 
Didn't necessarily mean for him to break contact. Let's have Verse back off if I can. She's down, isn't she? Oops. Yeah, Ver Verse got knocked out immediately. All right. Are you using this or not? Let's get some attention here. And hopefully deal with that problem. Where they are just attacking whoever they feel like for a while there. You both focus on this guy. He'll be down in just a moment. There we go. Now we can switch targets to the archer, who should be short-lived with their total lack of armor. This should work out just fine. There's the big one. Ooh, level up. Good. Everyone change, switch to your new target. Flurry of attacks. And we should be A-OK, -okay, aside from the part where one of us went down already. Let's see, I'll... Aggro... Just trying to make them not, not fire on my archers and what little life they have left. I mean, not, not fire on my ranged characters. This should work fine. I think we can more or less just wait this one out now. There we go. We took the valley. It's all ours now. You can't have it. And Verse will slowly and sadly recover. Alright. You've taken care of the Vendrian guard around Tripnettle, although a bit more violently than you were told. Time to report back to Fake Limp. Yeah, I think it was the wrong call to reveal the plan at all. I just thought we could maybe... Just, I, I was thinking along, along the lines of we can get him to surrender and spare his soldiers. Like, you come with us, and they can go all go. And uh, he didn't... He didn't like that idea. No. You... killed him. He grits his teeth and glares at you. Are you daft? Fifth Eye said we can kill any of them except Florian. I tried my best, but he didn't seem to like the chorus much. Then you should have argued harder. I mean, I was I would have argued as much as I could, but the fight started. <laughs> or knocked him over the head and carried him against his will? Fatebinder, is this really your first abduction? Not sure I like the tone of your voice. Not sure I like the tone of your face. Fuck it. What's done is done. At least the Oathbreakers are dead. So the day isn't a total loss. Uh, fake limp sh uh, shakes his head with a huff. I have to report back to Fifth Eye. And I'm supposed to tell you to report to this favored camp. Guess the Archons have another meeting they want you to present. Oh, they want you present, sorry. He's, uh, here's hoping this means we're finally ready to march on the Citadel and be free of the Edict. Gonna go over to, I'm of, I'm of course gonna go over to the next objective though, which is nearby. Taking the other valley. I uh, no, sorry. Northern Crossing. Yeah, attend the meeting of the Archons for taking the other valley. We'll get to that soon. But first, Northern Crossing should be next on the docket, so let's go do that. I may have made a mistake here, but, uh, gonna live with my with my decisions. That's how I generally try to approach this stuff. I have had characters die in Mass Effect and stuck with the decision in the past. That has absolutely happened. <laughs> we could go further into Might just to keep getting tougher, or we could focus on accuracy, armor deflection. I do like the idea of boosting up accuracy. Let's put another point to that. Alright, so we can go further into range if we want. Penetrating shot. Uh, replaces heart shot. Oops, gotta right click. Uh, charge up and launch projectile with enough force to penetrate armor. Enemies in a line take damage and are left bleeding. Nice. So it's a heart shot that has a line attack. And four armor penetration. Does this have armor penetration at all? This has plus 20 accuracy and a bleed. It this has plus 20 accuracy, and armor penetration, and a bleed. So it's just a flat upgrade of making a line attack and a penetrating attack, which sounds good. Although having new attacks could also be useful. Thrown Mastery increases damage w with thrown weapons and, and allows for basic attacks to strike multiple times. Uh, I think so, actually. 3% uh, chance to strike two times, 2% ch chance to ch strike three times. And, uh... Plus 5% overall damage. That passive is probably worth grabbing in general. I'll take note. 
by the way, that uh, I think this is dice roll based, basically. So, 3 and 2 overall is a 5% chance. I think those are two separate percentages. And that adds to a 1, a one in 20 chance. So, basically, if you roll a 20... You, you roll a nat 20 on your d20, and you either get a, a crit or, like, a super crit, basically, in the case of multiple attacks. Is there is there extra th throw mastery? Yep, then it goes up to 10%, so it would be a 1 in 10 chance, which is, like, the equivalent of getting an, uh... I want to say it's the perk that's called improved critical or something, I think is what increases your critical range to, uh, 19 instead of 20, and then you can even get 18 and 17, and, like... You can get crazy stuff in this. This one adds up to 15%. Uh, yep. Each one of the... Yeah. That's absolutely what they're doing here. They're doing some variation of D&D &D rules where... Uh, you get a 1 in 20, then a 2 in 20, then a 3 in 20 chance of, of doing this special condition, which is multiple attacks. That's absolutely what they're going for. I'm going to go for that. But I do want the other stuff too. So all the more reason to level up more. <laughs>